Welcome to another Unenter Flash tutorial. And no, this is not a rave party. Woot. This is a uh, tutorial about um, applying filters to movie clips or items. See, uh, items, they can get those fancy filters. And right now I have some dynamic things going on with this filter. Um, you probably recognize, you understand filters because you apply them onto movie clips using the properties. But I'm using ActionScript to apply these filters and also using some random numbers to make some random colors and random blurs. So I get this really uh, cool effect that looks like a um, old TV or, you know, it's there's some sort of static in between. So if you have some sort of uh, company where you're like, oh, man, this is we're really underground and cool, then this is that underground and cool effect that you would probably want to use. So uh, let's get into the coding of it. It's really simple to apply these filters. What you want to do is create a brand new ActionScript uh, 3 layer and also a content layer. I'm, at, I'm locking my ActionScript 3 layer and in my content layer I have a simple movie clip. Um, I created this movie clip, you know, just a bunch of circles and inside of the properties of my movie clip I named it Hero MC. Give it a name so we can use ActionScript to reference it. So let's click on our ActionScript 3 layer and start coding for uh, the filters. To create a filter you need to add one, so variable and I'm going to call it GF and I will apply, I will data type that to a glow filter and it's always equal to a new glow filter and opening the parentheses we get our helpful tooltip that tells us what items we need to place inside of this uh, glow filter or you know what what parameters do we have to pass in the first parameter is the color um, which is red normally and um, but we can change all of these like uh, if we wanted who knows black black is a good color so zero uh, and we place an X and black is zero 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 okay six zeros okay good um, the next item we have the alpha how transparent or opaque do you want it and I'll just put 0.5 right in the middle it goes from 0 to 5 and now we have the X blur you know how blurred do you want this glow effect to be of course glowing mean a glow some sort of um, glowy thing around it so okay so I'm gonna go for 4 4 and uh, the strength I'll leave it at 2 or uh, put 3 and the quality I'll put at 3 I think the highest is 4 and that's pretty much it to apply this filter to our movie clip, all we have to do is type in the movie clip, uh, that's hero, underscore mc, dot, and we type filters. And we assign it to the, f the filters that we have. So uh, assigning more than one filter, which is, is a common practice, they decided that the filters have to be inside of an array. And to declare something in array, you just have to put it inside these braces here, um, the box braces. So I'm going to put in GF and this will apply my glow filter. So when I start it up, you can see that I have this glow around it, which doesn't really help a lot. Um, I'm going to change the color to something better, like, like red. Okay, now I have this red color and you can see it. So uh, let's apply one more filter and that is the blur filter. So var BF. Blur filter is equal to new blur filter. And in the blur filter, we have similar things, uh, but uh, different. Uh, we have the X and Y blur. So this is the Y blur for, and we have the quality. I'll leave it at three. So now to apply it, all we have to do is take the BF, put it right by the GF, but put a comma in between them to differentiate it. So now I have a blur and a glow. Pretty cool, huh? But let's make these items dynamic. Let's use the power of ActionScript to make these really cool. Add event listener. And in this event listener, we're going to event dot enter frame, comma. The function is called loop. Let's create that function. 
loop e event uh, when you're making changes to the filters what you want to do is apply reapply those filters so I'm just gonna copy the hero.mc filters and apply the GF and the BF so to change those items you type the name of your filter and the dot and you apply you change one of the items like for the blur filter we have the X and we have the Y so I'm just gonna take the Y and equal that to a random number so math dot random and we'll multiply that by let's say 10 so right now I have this random thing going on on the X blur of my blur filter now let's change that to that X to Y so I have this so now a fidgets around also if I want to change the color uh, randomly I'll access the GF glow filter dot color and equal that to a random number now this is a special random number because um, it's a U integer so a 0 X just like all the colors are so and I'll put six F's. This is the highest number, so I'm multiplying it from the highest number. It can go from uh, black to all the way to white. So that, that colors the whole color range. So now when I try it out, I get that random uh, motion, the random blurring and the random coloring. So that's basically how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, and you get this really cool effect. So that's how you apply fil filters, and you can do some dynamic things. Instead of making them random, you could put the mouse X or something like that. So thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like these tutorials, make sure you rate, comment, um, and uh, subscribe, and all that jazz. That'll help out. Uh, also, um, go to my website, on Interflash dot com where you can download the FLA and click on a sponsor to put a few pennies in my pocket so they don't look as blurry as this. You see that that blur right there? You know, let's make it into to this. That makes no sense, but I hope you just click on a sponsor. Woo! Woo!